I'm just as pissed off as everybody on Facebook and social network in general and on the news. I'm so heartbroken because, like, like I said, I love every race of different kind of race, of creed, gender, disability, whatever. I'm going to start by saying this. I love my fellow black brothers and sisters no matter what we're going through. No matter what pain or what's up, we're going to still love each other. We got to stop going against each other. I love white people because I got white friends that I uh, went to school with. I got teachers that are white. I got friends of special needs that that are white. And I have, like, co-workers that are white. I love my Latino friends because I work with them. I went to school with them. I had neighbors with them. And I still got neighbors with them. Through thick and thin, no matter where I go, I am still love them. Love my Asian people because I... I work with them. I went to school with them. I had neighbors from them, and they helped me out. I helped them out. Did whatever we do. They do everything, vice versa, whatever. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because of my own kind of ignorant demons, four ass demon ass motherfuckers. I'm gonna sit out and look at. I've watched the clip of what they posted on Facebook Live. Was what they did to that special need white guy. I know y'all gonna have a, a big tirade rant again. Oh, whatever. We ain't here. Look, listen to this. It ain't just about a race thing. It's ignorance. This guy has special needs. And they had to drag him. Take him to the neighborhood. On a, um, in their vehicle. Torture him. Cut him up. Beat him. Whip tied him up. Everything. These bastards deserve to be locked up for good. To you four motherfucking bitches, four of you faggot ass bitches, I'm gonna say it. Now excuse my um excuse my uh homophobic language, but let me say this. This is not a when I said the word faggot, this is not going against the gay community. Period. This is to those demons who whooped that special need man's ass, tortured him, manipulated him, like they did that so they could send a message to white people and against Donald Trump supporters. I'm not against Donald Trump. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to go against Donald Trump. But at the same time, I didn't vote for him. I don't agree with him. But like I said, it's over with. Let it go. The whole Donald Trump fiasco, let it go. Because it's not going to help, like, causing this. It's like they say, two wrongs don't make it right. This has been all over the news. You hear one race beating up a, a, a black person. One other, the, our race beating up a white person. Vice versa. Let it go. But these dudes, they they going to get the worst punishment in their lives. They going to get the worst one ever because what they did was unbelievable this could cause a race war for what these punks did them two dudes the dreadlocks look like a looking like a, a bootleg kodak black and chief key the blonde wig a uh, hoe she she didn't get herself no she ain't gonna get herself together first of all they gonna they gonna they gonna tear that ass good them women gonna be up all over and that and that mini me um mini girl they gonna get her ass good too they gonna be they gonna have so much fun with them rats in jail oh yeah they you ain't you ain't getting out of jail y'all because you know what you made our race look bad horribly i've seen a lot of stuff you made this one the worst worst one ever you you made my race look bad big time. And you just did that so you could send it. You should oh, but you know what? You shouldn't have sent that one out on Facebook, okay? You shouldn't have sent that out on Facebook because you know what? Since y'all face was shown, that let the police know they're coming for you. Oh yeah, they cut they just came for you. Now you gonna get it, okay? Yeah, you gonna get it. I feel bad for that man. And it wasn't because he was white, because he had special needs. I have special needs. I have friends that are special needs. It don't matter what race you were. Special needs people need a lot of love. 
These fools messed that. It wasn't just messing it up, but they scarred him for life. And like I say, we got to stop bashing on each other. Stop taking out other race because one person won and one person didn't. Then come back firing and trying to send a message like whatever. Like I said, two wrongs don't make it right. And like I said, when I said that word, it was never and it will never be attended to the gay community. It's to idiots who are homophobic. No. It's to the ones who are ignorant, who mistreat women like trash, who have the nerve to treat disability people with ignorance. Because I feel like what these punks need to what these punks uh, need to know what they've done. Like I say, you guys make you make my race look bad for what y'all did, and you know what? It ain't just my race. You the same. You part of my race too, but you messed that one up big time. You messed that up big time. I feel like you know what? Why the hell you guys? Uh, go out your way and post stuff on people post stupid stuff on Facebook Live or upload stuff on Facebook. But see these guys got got what's coming to them. They I'm glad they got locked. They're gonna get more time. They're gonna spend the rest of their life in jail crying for what they've done. Talk so, oh, about I'm sorry. I wanna get out of jail. I wanna go there for it was too late now. It's too late. It is too late to apologize it's so too late to apologize because all because them boys are gonna get ripped up they gonna be ripped up from the up to the bottom they're gonna they're gonna be running rounds on your behind and stick one to you and these girls they gonna be they gonna be all they gonna be looked up and down and tossed and Fest everywhere. Oh yeah, you made my race look bad. You make our race look bad, really. You make our race look bad. Excuse me, I don't mean to say mine. I meant to say our race look bad. So I guess, you know, enjoy your life in prison. Because you sure mess my disability people up. And it's not just black people. It's people with special needs. It's not just blacks, not just white. It's, it's not anything. You just messed up my special need people in general. Because like I say, special needs are people, special need people are the ones that have disabilities. It could be, they could be deaf, they could be blind, they could have mental issues, they could have anything you can imagine. But these guys act like, oh, he's white, let's go rip him up. Let's go um, rip him apart. We're going we're gonna to send a message to these white mother suck, white motherfuckers and Donald Trump's people. But you know what? Let this be known. What comes around, goes around. What goes around, comes around. But you know what? Karma backfired on your ass. And thanks a lot for being the dumbest, nitwitted, asshole, dickheads for getting caught on Facebook Live doing some stuff and having your face exposed. But you know what? That's okay, cause that the person you scarred up knew one of you guys here. Yeah, you know you got what you was, you got what's coming for you. You got what's coming for you. But anyway, good luck in prison, bitches. You failed on your part. So now, justice for the uh, disabled dude, cause you know what? He needs a lot of love. He needs a lot of love. So, that was my rant, and I had to vent it out. I know I don't make sense in some things I say, but I know what I'm trying to say. But, respect one another. Unify with each other. Stop sending messages on social network live, because what you post and your face will expose. Um... It's not going to be pretty. So stop. Stop the ignorance. Find another hobby, dude. Because you, you cause what you do is going to come back harder. And it's not going to be a pretty sight. 
I love all you people on YouTube. To all the haters, that's okay, because like I said, I'm not going to show my hate. I'm going to show my respect to you, because like I said, it hurts my heart to see one person getting hurt. And like I said, I watch a lot of videos on um, different, like, one, like a black person get torn apart by a white mob and a, then a white a person get torn up by a black mob. We got to stop this right now because this is like, it's not going to help solve nothing. Because the more we hate, the more it's going to, the world's going to be so damaged as it is right now. Give prayers to that um, disabled person. That guy didn't deserve to get what he got. I'm not going to respect that. I'm not going to respect what those dudes did. So, like I said, prayers for him, prayers for his family. Justice will be served for them. He'll have his justice against him because he, he did not deserve to be traded like that. I got to go. Bye.